Hello and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I've done a progress update on the RFA SS Fresh Spring. If you're not aware, this is a project I've been working on since December 2019. So it's been going on for a long time. Of course the hull is... I made this hull um, around like I think April 2020. Somewhere around, somewhere around there. Maybe March. I can't run it. I honestly can't remember. It was two years ago. But yeah, uh, it's been a long time coming. Only now have I actually been able to get the interior done just because I've been adding an interior, then ripping it out, adding it back in, ripping it out. And yeah, uh, at its current stage, the ship does not move. Uh, it used to, but not anymore. I have to redo that system. Just so I can fit in a little bit of uh, interior at the back here for the officer's mess. But uh, today's video I'm just going to keep it somewhat simple and just go over some of the rooms, details, and everything. Uh, so hopefully you'll have a little bit better understanding of the ship. And, well, yeah. Of course when it comes out then you'll know where to go, how to do stuff. And yeah. Of course, the Fresh Spring is a real ship being restored in Biddeford, UK, United Kingdom. Um, and I'll leave a link to their website below. Doing an awesome job of bringing the ship back to its glory. Um, and, you know, I just thought to do it in Stormworks. So, here we go. We're at the town of Holt. See you right over there. I got it moored up with the uh, new mooring anchor things. And yeah, we'll get started I guess then. Alright, we're on the main deck of the Fresh Spring. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff around here. Uh, we got some skylights here, uh, mooring anchor there, the main mast over here. Uh, just some other holes in the side of the ship. Uh, there's this a loading door here. I don't have any controls to actually open it yet, but I will soon. Over here is the uh, hatches to the uh, water tanks. This was a water carrier and has been with the RFA, Royal Fleet Auxiliary. Uh, it was used to supply feed water, boiled water, any kind of water to warships in the Royal Navy. That was kind of its job for a while. Uh, served mostly in Malta and then was transported back to the UK. There are no fresh ring or fresh class ships surviving now. Uh, there was only 14 of them built and this is one of them. It's also the last one built and last to survive. But anyway, moving on from that. Um, yeah, not much to mention here. There's a storage crate on here. Not sure what it's stored. I'm guessing maybe um, hoses for this. Not really too sure on that, but just some basic details everywhere. Light preservers with the name imprinted on it. Got the bridge and superstructure back there and all the important bits over there. And we'll go up to the uh, front of the ship here. You can see the, uh, I think it's called turnbuckle. It just tensions up the, uh, the rigging. Uh, mastheads over there, the masthead lights, and I just fell off because the railing is fake. Anyway, we got the front windlass here. I still gotta repaint that up to there. Um, but yeah, that's the windlass. That's how you raise up the anchor, and that's a misplaced block because, of course, uh, you got the halyard up front. Um, yeah, that's it here. Uh, we'll go up uh, down into the forecastle and show you around there. All right, up in the forecastle, get the flashlight out uh, to the right. We have a little bit of a wash basin here. Uh, not really much in there. Uh, left side, same thing. Skipper has a bathtub. Not sure if it's supposed to be on that side as well. Can't really tell from pictures, and of course everything's been somewhat dismantled, but it's getting in there back up and everything. 
Uh, we do have the head back here, so if you want to take a dump, you do it here. Wait, does not work yet. And then these would be the paint stores, so any paint or fluids or oil you need would be in here. I have it locked because I kind of just removed it, so you can't enter it. You kind of shake the door around, which is not supposed to happen, but you know. Um, anyway. These are the ventilation ports, so if the ship ever sinks, then water will come in here and flood the area. Obviously, if you, you don't really want your ship to sink, but if it do, uh, then water will come in here and flood the bow. Uh, we'll just head on down to the bottom. I'm going to turn on electricity for a second, just get the lights on. You'll flip it there. I think that's a paint error there as well. But anyway, this is the forward mess hall. Uh, this is where you sit down, eat your dinner and everything. Although it's kind of weird because the galley is at the back. Probably a little bit difficult going to the back, getting your food, and then going up here. Not sure how that's done, but you know. Piping for the uh, toilet over there, portholes, uh, desk lamp over here, and electric heater, which I don't think they have on at the moment. Uh, we do have a full power stove here. I need to redo that, it's not looking all that great. Uh, progress in this area has been. Pretty much the same as when I left off. Uh, this area is mostly just the same piping and everything. But yeah, that's really it for that. I uh, go into here. You have the mast that comes down here. It's a bunch of bunk beds and some wardrobes. You can access your clothes in and a stairwell up. Uh, the door is not actually there. Or hatch, I guess. Just because it doesn't really work with the uh, game at the moment. Um, and then one of the skylights here, this kind of goes into the other room on the other side. And then another skylight here. I don't know where the door is for this room. So I just have to do this for now. There's just a bunk bed back here. Uh, there would be some other furniture over there as well. But that's all I have for that. And I'll head up to the main deck and we'll go back to the superstructure. So, oh, heading to the superstructure. I can see all the little things on it, I guess. Got the nameplate over here, number 886. Built and engine by the Lytham Shipbuilding and Engineering Company. Um, I kind of want to get some little paint going on there, but not at the moment, of course. Uh, portholes over to the master cabin, that's where the captain or whoever was commanding the ship would, uh, Obviously, sleep in. Rigging up there, of course. So head in here. A little tricky with that. I have the paint here over there as well. But when you turn on the light, I have the fire naturally uh, painted up here. Of course, it would be painted the same color as the wall, but I just left it as kind of like uh, gray painted or chipped painted. Uh, deal over here just so we can see it and it looks cool but yeah I got two lights in here I got a little bit of a desk here a wash basin electric heater which you can turn on piece of this button here and a little bit of a desk there and a settee over here and of course the bed which you can sleep in if you so needed uh, that's really it. There's a nice little carpet uh, texture on the bottom, and yeah, really it for that. I want to add some paintings over here. It's just something, maybe a shelf. Looking a little bit bland over there, but I'm not really too sure what's on this side of the wall. It's because there's not a lot of pictures. There's usually just pictures pointing this way, but not really this way. No, a little bit of a problem, but it's alright. So we'll come out of there. Um, this is one of the doors that goes down to the bunker, which is where you would store the coal. That is a paint area again. Another uh, life preserver. 
some kind of valve, not really sure, too sure what that does. And of course another hatch to the bunker, this one's a real hatch that you can open to actually load up the pole for in-game purposes. Yep, that's really it for this section. Um, we got the signal lights over here, tells other ships what direction you're facing. And we'll head up up top to the bridge. Got a lot of stuff in here, bookcases, um, this was a chart cabinet I believe. Uh, binnacle, uh, telegraph which you can actually use. I blew a coded this all so that took a while to do. But you can use it. Uh, another chair or bench over there. The steering engine over here and the main switchboard which you'll actually get all the lights going for. Just turn all those on. And then the radio transmitter or receiver over there. Uh, speaking tubes over here. And what's the cord over there? I don't know if that's hooked up yet. Um, so the steering engine, steam powered of course. Uh, if you want to turn left or right, you just hit these buttons over here. Of course, look where you're going with the compass over here. And turn the rudder like that. Just reset it to the uh, midship uh, setting. But yeah, that's really it for the bridge over here. Um, there's probably going to be a little bit more that I add to it. I'm just not sure what to add at the moment. And yeah, that's really it for that. I'll head up to the uh, Monkey Island or Fly Bridge, whatever you want to call it. Just the secondary bridge that you can up onto. Uh, this telegraph is not hooked up but it does have a speaking tube over here which you can converse with the engine room, oil room, or whoever. Uh, so we've got the bidding pull over here uh, just like below and of course the same setup for actually turning the rudder. Uh, the wheel does not spin on this one sadly. Want to keep the lag down and everything, and adding more pivots, we'll just bring that down. You got the funnel at the rear here, uh, the whistle over here, and a blow off tube there. In case, of course, you got too much pressure in the boiler, it'll blow it off there. I'm sure, there's also other ways to blow it off, but that's one of the main ones. Uh, so, we got some uh, cowl vents over here. And the doors down here, these will go up to the above space on the boiler. A little piping up here. Uh, I do have to redo this a little bit. I don't think all these pipes are in the wrong place or right spot, I think. Also, the boiler is sitting way too low, it should be a little bit higher. Uh, there shouldn't be this much head clearance here. But doing that will have to entail ripping out the entire boiler room. Uh, which I already have a bunch of detail in here, so probably not going to do that, but maybe in the future or something. I don't know, probably not. But yeah, enough, nothing to really note in there. Just head out of that and head to the rear. This is where the lifeboats would be stored. Uh, Freshman did have a really weird um, lifeboat davit. It doesn't really have a name that I could really find. Um, so. I wasn't really too sure on how the dab actually works, so I just left it blank. Uh, no lifeboat, nor, nor really anything. I might put in just maybe like a regular well in davit, like on the Titanic or some other steamships. But probably not, I don't know. Not at the moment, at least. Um, and then we got the, uh, makes all the quarter deck. I think we we'll call that on this small ship, but I don't know. Little skylight going into the uh, kitchen or the galley over there, and stove here, and another halyard here. And yeah, that's really it for the boat deck. Head on down to the boiler room, which is to the store. You can also see the fan space back there. Let's go do a quick glance up here. I got the blower fan, this blows air into the actual boiler so you can you know stuff 
Um, Fresh Spring was oil powered, um, but originally was coal powered. So, um, in this interpretation of the Fresh Spring, uh, it is actually coal powered. You can see the bunker sort of down there. Um, so it's not going to be oil powered, um, which I'll explain more in the boiler room. But you got some more of those cow vents going down to the boiler room. This one also had a little bit of a winch on it so you can carry ash buckets up. Uh, to this door, you have the engine room back here. You can already see it's a mess of a bunch of pipes, as it should be. I'll just close that again. And close that as well, and then go down the ladder. Alright, here in the boiler room, you see you have the boiler here. Uh, this is the feed water inlet for the main feed water pump. And on the left is the inlet for the auxiliary feed water pump. You can see you also have the selection, uh, whatever you would call this, I'm not really too sure on the name. It's the selection valve something. And so for actual operation of the boiler, of course it doesn't work. Uh, there would be a light button some here, or somewhere over here. So basically you light the boiler, fill it up with coal and everything. Open the feed water valve, which is right there. Turn on your steam engine. You would pump water into the boiler. Of course you need steam to actually get that up. So I'm probably going to be adding a donkey, uh, donkey boiler probably on the dock next to uh, where the fresh spring will spawn actually get it up and running and everything. So that will give you uh, steam pressure and everything, water in the boiler as well, which you can check on your sight glasses up here. Uh, these red and blue handles I believe are for the controls, so the blue handle I believe would let water into the sight glass and the red would let steam into the top. The so water on the bottom, steam up top, and they would equalize to tell you the uh, level of the water. Don't quote me on that, I'm not really too sure, that's just what I'm guessing uh, from photos and videos that I've seen of the boiler. Uh, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or something. Uh, we got the main fireboxes over here. Of course this are some for the actual water to go into, I think at least. I got the smoke box cover over here, which you can open up with these little handles over there. Of course, not when in the game, of course, but in real life you could. Over to the right is the pressure gauge. I don't have that labeled, but you can see a little copper lining that goes up to wherever it connects. All vents come in over there. And this is the little ash bucket I mentioned earlier. It's kind of floating at the moment because I don't have the rope on it, but that's alright. Looking at the rear, a little bit of wiring. Uh, this is the uh, speaking tube that goes to the engine room. Uh, blow of valve heater, light switch, which I don't have any lights in here yet. Uh, manometer, which would tell you the uh, air pressure of the air going in. Uh, coal bunkers, of course, are over here, so when in operation, you just load up the coal here. And now it's full up of coal. And you can light that and then get the pressure. Of course, like I said, nothing works at the moment. Some things work, uh, some things don't. So that's really it for the boiler room. I probably spent a little bit too much time on this, but oh well. Like that. Now we can also go to the back of the boiler room. Just the boiler, I mean. And there's some little valves heater, which I think are needed to be for the fresh water tanks. Again, not too sure on what all the valves do, I just know they're there. And I like these stuff. We'll just do a little bit of TP theme. Do a little bit of TP there. Alright, yep, that's really for the uh, boiler room. You can see a little portal that leads you into the uh, engine room. Can't really see much. But we'll climb up here and go into the boiler room. Or engine room.
Not the boiler room. We're already in the boiler room. Engine room. Alright, entrance to the engine room, of course, is over here. Also got the uh, windows over here, or window hatches. Those would also be a little bit of entrance in. A little bit oversized, um, but that just gives me enough space on the inside. So, of course, in a block building game, you're not going to have all the space you want. The more artistic, uh, whatever it's called. Something like that. Um, but yeah. So you got two doors to the side, and a door here. It actually causes a glitch in the game where if the water actually gets up to this level to the door, it won't actually flood this door, which is a little bit weird, but... Oh well. So, on the engine here, triple expansion. You see the high pressure, intermediate pressure, and the low pressure. Of course, as steam loses its pressure, you're going to need more surface area to actually get out the same amount of work and everything. You got the main steam line running through here, which then goes to the... This would be a mantle and a throttle at the same time. So it goes in there, feeds the engine, and it also um, kind of bleeds off into the auxiliary steam engines and everything. And of course, all this is work in progress, so if the pipe's in the wrong spot, then you know, that's why. Uh, exhaust steam goes into the condenser below. You see a ventilation pipe over here, so you can get a little bit of fresh air in here. You see more of the throttle assembly there, and we'll go down here. No ladder at the moment, so I just use this padded seat to teleport of sorts upward. Uh, I do have a engine plate over here, number 558, engine by the Vifum Shipbuilding Engineering Company. A little neat detail, I guess. Details not ready yet. Um, but yeah, we'll hop down here. So only a couple lights are working at the moment. I need to rehook those back up. Over here we do have a I think we call it a stroke counter, just counts how many times the engine goes up and down. Uh this is the main fire and salvage pump over here. So if you want to pump water out of the bilge and then out of the ship, this is how you do it. Or if you want to empty a ballast tank or something like that, or um, feed a fire line in case you have to fight a fire or anything. But yeah, that's really it there. Uh, as you can notice, my building style is an excessive amount of window pieces. But uh, don't worry about it. Uh, a little chalkboard over here, and the main engine, of course. Uh, reversing engine over here, with its little pipe and everything. Uh, this pipe is wrong. I'm not really too sure on how this is piped. Because from photos I've seen, the exhaust goes over here. And then, I'm not really too sure where it goes. Because this goes to the condenser from the exhaust from this engine. The way I have it is that this goes to heater, exhaust up to heater, goes into this one, and then exhaust to the condenser. But looking at photos, I might be wrong. It might go from this part goes to here, and then just goes to the condenser, maybe, and then these would get a separate uh, pipe from here, but I can't really see that in any photos. I'm not sure how these engines over here are powered. So I just put the little pipe there. Not sure if it's correct, but that's what I got. Anyway, moving on from that. Uh, I got the main switchboard over here. So you can activate the main dynamo, short supply, uh, switchboard, and fan power. Now this is the hot well here. I think this is an oil separator. Uh, heater, not really too sure. Pressure gauges over here. You got the low pressure, uh, intermediate pressure, high pressure, boiler pressure, and the condenser pressure. Which the condenser pressure is always at a vacuum, I believe. Which that's how it all is on the uh, SS shield hull, which I kind of copied the stuff from. Um, 
these are scaled to the drop in pressure, so a little bit of a formula to get that right. Just divide by the uh, value of 4, really. Anyway, uh, this is the main dynamo. It gives the electric power. Uh, speaking tubes. Uh, one goes to the windlass. Uh, that's the boiler room and the bridge. Uh, I got some more valves down there for selecting fluid types. Uh, green, I think, is seawater. Blue is fresh water. Black is bilge water. Uh, stated in one of the videos. And of course, you got the main engine here. Telegraph is not hooked up yet, but it will be. Um, I might redo the actual screen on the telegraph, possibly. Not too sure. I think I have it hooked up for... Yeah, I do. I think I have to see the uh, engine turning over here. Might be a little bit too loud, but let me just see it there. Simple steam engine. Of course, no working centric. That takes up a lot of space to actually get working in Stormworks. And we do have an actual a condensate pump hooked up to the pressure, and I think that's kind of looking out right now. I might have to tinker with that. I think it might be broken at the moment. Well, I'll worry about that later. I'll just shut off the engine. Go up to the a little bit more. Uh, go up to the right side. Uh, there would be a storage uh, closet over here for stuff. Spare parts and everything. Oil. Uh, so we're on the starboard side of the ship. Yeah, the condenser here with its circulating pump. Uh, the main service pump over here. So if you want to do any sort of uh, water move-in, you do with this pump. Not too sure what these two pipes feed to. Possibly just go out to the ship, and there's a bunch of graph glitches. But cool. But uh, lots of pipes in here. Um, all of the steam pipes are connected, so the inlet and the outlet, which go to the condenser, of course. You can spend all day just going around here and looking at where all the pipes go. Uh, still a bunch more pipes to go. There's a lot of empty spaces everywhere, which I know there's pipes in that go through them, but I just don't have any pictures of them, so... Yeah. Uh, this is the main cargo pump. So you'd use that to pump out any water you have in the cargo holds. And the condensate pump, which would, I think, assist in circulating and, um, I think taking air out of the engine. Not really too sure on that. Um, but yeah, that's really it for that. Uh, this also helps, or actually, I think this is actually the, uh, as well the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, feed water pump. So that goes into the main feed water inlet on the boiler. And that's how you get that for it. And yeah, that's really it for the engine room. Uh, the uh, porthole is, of course, over here. Kind of hard to see out because it's not at eye level. But yep, that's uh, really it for the engine room at least. Go hop out of here. Lots of parkour you kind of have to do to get around. So, move back on to the rear. Have a little bathroom right here. A little bit of a smaller one, or technically bigger one. And at the back here is the galley. So you have your uh, coal stove over here. And your coal basket over there to feed it. Sink on the right, a little rack. No lights in here yet, of course. I have yet to do that. Um, and yeah, that's really it for that. Nothing too major in there. Uh, another one of the water tanks. This goes right over the uh, prop shaft. That's kind of like a saddle tank. 
So in total it has about six tanks and can store a huge amount of water. Not sure if that all of the tanks would be 100% capacity when they're actually running the ship. But I don't know. Over here we have another bathroom. Uh, I still have to redo that and everything. Uh, coming to the rear, um, get some bollards over here. Um, hoss holes and everything. I think they would be called hosses. I'm not too good on the uh, ship terminology. But anyway, bandstand back here with the steering quadrant, which is the rudder. And a little skylight here, and also here. Uh, this was the officer's mess and the engineer's cabin. Um, current day on the Fresh Ring, this place has been gutted, so there's nothing really left of it. So, uh, detailing is going to be a little bit hard. Door open over here. The manual door, so you kind of have to bear with the game physics that you get it open. And then you can open up the hatch here, and then go down the stairs. Close that and head into the officer's mess. You got a table here with another SETI here and a wardrobe and a clock as well. This would have been the uh, engineer's cabin with a little bit of skylight up there. It would have been a bed here and a bunch of other furniture, but of course I don't have it done yet. And over here was another galley so you can cook food in here. I guess not really cook food. I think it's more of like a preparation area. Again, not too sure on the rooms. There's not really a lot of information on there. But yeah, that's really kind of it for the ship. Uh, there's not really much to go off of anymore. But yeah. Hopefully I should have the ship finished by around maybe the spring. I mean, it is called the Fresh Spring, so, you know. Um, but, yeah. It's really it for today. It's really it for today's video, so. I'm gonna leave this off here, and probably go to bed. It's a little bit late. And, uh, yeah. So you do it later, I guess. When I make the next video of this. Which may or may not be in a couple months. Or a couple of years. You never know, you know? Uh, yep, that's really it. So, see you later.